Okay. Oh, all I can see are bright lights. All these wonderful people have disappeared. So, it's a Chandrika, nice to meet you all. And in the corner, was someone called Thelonious? Yeah, after the, is Thelonious? Yeah, he's after the jazz musician. After the jazz musician, it's an amazing name. Lawrence, after Arabia? Lawrence <laughs> Lawrence, I think that's pretty good. And you've got any other siblings? No. No, your parents were like, that's enough. That's fine. You don't know us. <laughs> no, well, no, clearly not. I've got another four minutes, 50 seconds to find out more. Um, so, it's been a great week for women, hasn't it? Um, Maybe not that good. Cosby is free, Britney is not, oh. and I'm allowed to wear this dress with trainers in public, so... Woo! What Woo! is really nice? Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of women and um, what it's like to be one of us, quite a few of my friends had babies in lockdown. Oh. I know. I mean, the kids are fine, but like, the mums are not. So it turns out, pregnancy, followed by childbirth, which is just a small person violently exiting that way or that way, um, followed by breastfeeding. It's a fucking nightmare. Um, and it doesn't seem fun. And it's made me ask myself some difficult questions. Like, your parents or your parents the twins? Like, ask themselves. Which is, am I ready to be a mum? And I've come to the conclusion that possibly not. So I do have an announcement. I haven't told many people. I think I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> it's not imminent, I haven't gone you pregnant, but if I had to choose between one of the gender binary here, because we're keeping this very heteronormative, this set, <laughs> it's dad, keep it, keep it a dad. Because um, things are easier for dads, right? The bar is very low. When a man has a daughter, he's like, oh, I'm a father of daughters, I'm a feminist. And he puts it on Twitter and everyone's like, well done, well done, well done. I've been a feminist my entire life. Yeah. And an intersectional one, because melanin, thank you very much. <laughs> when I say it on Twitter, nobody says, well done. It's just deafening silence. A couple of trolls, goodbye, take away your blue ticks. I do have one, thank you. I just came in to say that. <laughs> yeah, things are easier for dads, aren't they? Well, so I thought, until something happened in lockdown that made me think, whoa, 360. And I know you're all thinking it too, because I can just about make out a few faces. It's Kim Kardashian's dead hologram dad! Yes, you were all thinking that, weren't you? Yes. That's what changed my mind. Has anyone seen this video on Twitter? Yeah. Yes, it haunts my dreams every night. So what happened was, Kim Kardashian, a woman famous for things we do not know about, lost in this time. She had a father, as well as Kris Jenner, who knew? And he died, which is really sad. He was 59, back in 2003. That's pretty sad. She was very young. So, it was her 40th birthday. Her husband, they were the relationship was a bit better, a bit better about them. My husband Kanye West, a man famous for music and nothing else that I could find on the internet, um, he turned to her and said, Kim, my love, you are 40. Here is my present to you. It is a hologram of your late father, Robert Kardashian. So we've got a few, few um, facts about him. Number one, he wears head to toe beige in this video. I don't know if that was him or like what dads have to wear when they come back as holograms. <laughs> Who could tell? Um, number two, he um, dated Priscilla Presley in the 70s straight after her divorce from Elvis, so dad was a player. And uh, he was a lawyer and in the 90s he defended his friend OJ Simpson and kept him out of jail. So he is a legal eagle. <laughs> so he's come back in hologram form. And he's in this video, and it's, you know, it's very moving. And he says at one point to, to his daughter, Kim, Kim, in this, in this point, you are Kim Kardashian. Yeah, she, she broke a bottle of wine in her back, too. <laughs> kidding, kidding. And um, he says, Kim, you married the most, 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 most. That's five most, which is too many mosts. Genius man in the world, Cardi West. Who do we think scripted that line? <laughs> Just who? Was it? Was it? Was it Kim? Was it the brother? What? Well, don't know what his name is. Was it Scott? I don't know. It could be anyone. But I think it was Kanye West. It feels like a Kanye West line. It feels like his rhythm. It feels like his pacing. It feels like his ego is in there. A little bit. So that made me think. This feels like more of a puppet of Kanye's. I don't know. It doesn't feel like the real thing. I don't know if I'd want this for myself to bring a loved one back. But it doesn't matter, they're getting divorced now. And I've not heard what's happening to the hologram, because it feels a bit like Kanye is going to get custody of the hologram. <laughs> He's already writing the lines for it. And if that happens, I will say one thing, it would be a great sitcom, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Kanye, keeping up with Kanye and his dead dad. Hologram, Robert. 
which would be great. There'll be a real plus for E exclamation point channel. <laughs> Bit of a downside for women as ever because I don't see any leading roles for womankind in there. It's pretty sad. Um, but yeah, so I'm rethinking the dad thing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm ready for that because to be a dad, it seems like it's not good enough to be a dad in real life. After you die, you have to be ready to come back in hologram form, <laughs> learn a lot of stuff about your son-in-law, and say good things about him, because while you're talking to your daughter in the video, his finger is hovering over the off switch, ready to hit it if you put a hologram foot wrong. Now that is a lot of pressure, and I don't think I'm ready for it, so I'm done. Thank you, that is my time. <laughs>